Darius M. Live Q and A. I rarely do these. We'll wait till uh, some more people trickle in. Wait till some more some more individuals trickle in. <clears throat> It's your time. Ask me anything. Long as they done crazy, long as they done out of the norm. Trolls, of course, you will be banned. Make sure you donate to the church, support the stream. I really have open live Q and A like this, but heck, why not? Shout out to Jeremy Warner. Great to see you. Comment, hey, I'm here, Darius M. Tell me anything. Ask me anything. What you appreciate about the channel? If I've helped you in any way. Do you uh, see eating some eating a box as being submissive? Um, some people some people say uh, going down on a woman is being submissive. Uh, uh, shout out to Mister Champ Plalo, you have helped me significantly. Um, hey guys, make sure you guys hit the uh, super chat if you have any questions. I want anybody just like John Ham hit the super chat. Uh, go ahead and hit the super chat and I'll answer your question. Shout out to John Ham. Thank you for contributing. Uh, everybody that's here, um, you guys have been a, a real, uh, this is more of appreciation to you guys as well. But again, if you guys would like to uh, have a question, hit the super chat, donate to the church, PayPal, Cash Up, Venmo, whatever the case may be. Um, you guys have been a real, um, uh, most of you have been a real inspiration aside from the trolls and silliness. Uh, I, I really do this for you guys. Feedback Friday, I like it. You definitely helped me with uh, how to ask women on dates to uh, uh, tag along, basically. Oh, yeah. And, and that's what I want guys to do. Guys, I want you guys to, uh, when, you, when people come to my channel, I want them to take things from my video and learn from it. Thanks, dearest. You've helped me be more confident and sure of myself. Shout out to Mr. Uh, John Ham. Shout out to Robert A. Shout out to all you guys. Uh, and above all, I want you guys to um, really enjoy life. And in any aspect of an area of life you're looking for. See, there's not a lot of uh, channels or a lot of areas and spaces that uh, men can come together and not just support each other, but to uh, share thoughts, share ideas. Shout out to Mr. Uh, Mantis. He said, thanks for moving the blindfold. What do you think of Michael B. Jordan and, and Lori Harvey's relationship as that simpery? I didn't even got into that like that. I don't even uh, get into them like that. People been want, people been wanting me to do uh, little videos and stuff like that. I, I like if somebody sent me a TikTok vid or something like that or whatever. I, I've recently have been throwing them into my main channel for like a, like the, the first uh, minute, half a minute to a minute, and, and giving my take on it and, and and whatever the case may be. All about solutions. Thank you for all you do. Thank you. Shout out to Mr. Uh, Arch, uh, Archangel. But uh, the guy said, should he go down on a woman? Is that simpery? Here's the thing. I'll, I'll put it from two perspectives. Because the reason why a lot of guys say it's simping when you eat a woman's box Oftentimes, it's not a woman that you really want to be with. It's not a woman that you really like. Right? It's not a woman that you, like, want somebody with, to be with long term. You're just like, ugh. And, 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 and oftentimes, let's, 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 let's be honest. Most dudes who get with women, they're not all that into their low-hanging fruit. They're women who you just like, well, I'm, you know, I might as well, uh, you know, I'm going to rub one off. Now, if it's, your, if, your, if it's your main, main, main chick and it's your girl, or I should say, if you're, especially if it's your wife, okay, that's a different story. If she's been putting in work, if she's been uh, just doing everything she's supposed to do, it's up, it's up to you. Some guys say, I ain't going down on no chick. I've been, I remember I was uh, in a relationship with like with a chick many years ago. I never went down on her. She used to always give me head. So it, it all depends on the situation and, and and what you want out of it. I can't tell a guy to not go down on this woman 
Some guys are against it. Other guys uh, like to do it. John Hanson, I, I don't personally do it. Um, I haven't been a fan of it either. I'm going to be honest. I mean, it, it has fluids. It, it's a, 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 a woman's box. It's like an open wound, pretty much. It's not like our, our pipe where it's the skin, it's the muscle, and everything is in, inside. It's literally an open wound. So it has all type of uh, fluids and 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 uh, discharge. The, guys, do y'all know women discharge every single day? Not, not we're not just talking about bleeding. We know that's when it has the time of the month. But women discharge all the time. So you're eating milky fluids. <laughs> I'm, now, here's the thing. Some guys, have I ate a box out? Of course I have. I'm not going to sit up here in front like, oh, man. I'm... But is it submissive? I'll say this. The box that I've ate in the past, when I did it, she switched though. She like start to switch. She like I, I keep it. I'm keep it 100. Like when I went down on a woman uh, years ago when I was in my uh, in a relationship, it was two of them. They switched on me. On me. Like they start acting kind of uppity. They start having a little attitude. They start you know because you're basically submitting to them. This is what I noticed. Shout out to Mr. Jamil the King. And this is why like going down on a woman, I noticed they usually like. Just in general, they start looking down on you. And this is why I like, man. And, and this is why I, this is what I noticed. Did you want, did it want to nearly throw up? Yeah, especially his thing. Like a woman's, uh, we'll try to keep it PG. A woman's box is supposed to be sacred. Like that's the most, let's be honest, that's the most important thing that they got. Shout to Bob Spanch. So if she's coming to the situation, and she ain't clean at all. She just straight up coming to you like. It's like. Like most of it smell like fish. Here's my thing. If a, if you're gonna if a woman's gonna have sex with you, she better hop in the shower before that happens. Like I'm gonna keep it 100, man. Like make sure you're clean before you get out like that. Now I'll say this: that's what my main chick does. Period. Because you got to think, guys. Like, if it, let's say hypothetically, me and my main chick, after this live stream, we go out to the mall. Right now, um, oh, we go out to anywhere. Right now, in, in Chicago Central Time, it's 447. So let's say I end this live stream at 5 o'clock, which I won't. And we go to the mall, we go out, and we just, we just moving around. We just are out there moving and, you know, just, just out there going here and going. And then... Um, we get, uh, we do whatever we got to do and we come back home and we get home about 10 o'clock. The chances of her box, and this is my main chick I'm talking about, uh, 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 smelling good, it, it probably not going to be that high. It, it might be. But you've been moving around and you got discharge. Every woman discharges every single day. And then you want me to uh, pipe that down? And on top of that, the, the leggings squeeze all. <laughs> and squeeze. Uh, listen, you got to hop in the shower real quick. We've been out walking and moving. And then you just bend over and that smell... Your, your cheeks spread and that smell just pop up in your face. I mean, I just, a, a woman should take pride in that. Like, you, yo, just hop in there real quick. Or like, no, what, here's the thing. What a lot of women do, I'll be honest, they'll be like, oh, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. And then they'll smell like something. Every, the vast majority of women do this. Like, before y'all about to have sex, like, especially for the first time, what she'll do is, like, first or second time, she'll go to the bathroom like, hey, I'll be right back. 
Or she just like she's like, where your bathroom at? Because she know, like, let me see, let me hope I smell good, or and she'll smell herself. Or or they or she might have some baby wipes, <laughs> and then she might, you know, uh clean herself. Shout out to Jay. Great to see you, man. I ain't seen you in a while, Jay. Shout out to Ralphie. This is an open uh QA. Guys, make sure you support the stream, man. Uh Jeffrey uh Gerard said the double standard dating strategy that women have is insane. Thank you for describing it so well in your videos. I have had both sides from women. Shout out to Jeffrey uh, uh Gerard. Yeah, I, I did a video on the main channel about women's unrealistic uh, dating standards. It's, it's, it's insane. Here's what I challenge you guys. If you guys are like maybe dating a girl, like if she don't have a gym membership and she ain't consistently going, man, dude, just get rid of her, man. Because she's telling you she don't even like value the situation or relationship that y'all in. Like, hey, that's insane. The box is sacred, not supposed to be given out liberally and must be clean. She must be prepared to fully submit, literally. Like, like straight up submission. With the right woman, it will smell like fresh shrimp. <laughs> like, like it, it's, it's, you gotta think, guys. Like, they smell the leggings before they put them on. I've seen, I've seen one with that. I, I was with a chick like years ago and um, I remember she was in my room and I had uh, just get ready and I just had, you know, peeped around the corner and she picked up the leggings like this and she, <laughs> and she just smelled it. It's just like, and then I, she heard me like open the door and she like looked like, like, like serious, man. And I'm sitting there like, I, I mean, I didn't really say anything. I didn't say anything. I was just like, hey, you ready? It's like, like women smell the crotch of the leggings to see if it's, you know, all cool to put them on for the day. Like, y'all got to understand, women don't change leggings. Like, guys, have y'all been with women? This is why, like, when you try to impress a woman, you try to show off. Dude, women throw in the same leggings literally daily. And dudes be having all, all this, all these nice clothes and all this stuff. I mean, it's, it's good to have nice clothes on. But at the same time, these women wear the same thing. The same leggings, the same socks. Like, I, guys, I, and I, this, these are attractive women. Like, guys, the attractive women that y'all be, like, fanning over and, like, man, uh, dearest, teach me and coach me how to get those women. Okay, I can do that, but you have to realize something. They're not special. They, they wear the same leggings as you do. Or, excuse me, they wear the same leggings as, uh, like, three times a week, the same leggings. That's like putting on the same underwear three times a week. Four times a week. And this thing, all a woman needs is, like, two or three black pair of leggings. She good. Because, especially if she got a little bit of shape, she going to have dudes look at her. Shout out to Mr. Uh, Deshaun Santiago Jackson. Great to see you. Um, shout out to Mr. Uh, Jer uh, Jeffrey Gerard. Uh, thank you for contributing your uh, your shekels. The box. Uh, what do you think about working and meeting up with long distance partners or relationships with good women? That that that's something you can do. You can uh, get together with uh, uh, women who uh, are helping you towards a, a goal or getting money or business. I'm all for that. Like, guys, everything is should, it, it doesn't have to be sexual with women. The vast majority of things are. But if a woman is trying to, you know, is trying to help you towards a goal and, and she's been your a colleague from, from with, uh, of yours in the past or present or an associate, and she's like, okay, hey, let's 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 get let's make this business happen. Okay, great. Or if she's like an asset in the video. Like if I, I know chicks and uh if I smash them or whatever, or I just know of them. I'll hit them up and say, hey, uh, you know, you want to be in this video? They'll be like, yeah, cool. Right? And in his thing, they're helping me get views. They're helping me get traction. So that that's totally fine if, if you got that going. But his thing, if you just helping them out and you, you know, giving them tips and advice and they ain't giving you nothing, nah. I don't, his thing, I don't help not one woman out for free on this earth unless it's my mother or my daughters. That's it. I said again, none of you guys should help any woman out for free without being compensated unless it's your mother or your daughter. That's it. And if you got a niece or, or you know, 
or uh, whatever the case may be. Because women are masters at taking advantage of, of dudes, like masters. So make sure when you deal with women, every single time you're getting something from it. And, and, and it doesn't necessarily have to be sex all the time. Just make sure you're getting compensated for your time. Uh, have you ever ate fine chick out and it tasted salty down there? It happened to me before. Uh-huh. Like a lot of guys think these fine, attractive chicks, these good looking girls, like like their like their box is so like amazing. Now I smell and and it and it got discharge coming out and it stink all the time. You know. Thanks for answering the question. Just trying to get with high quality women outside of the country that will give something in return. Thankfully, there are more than happy to help and cooperate. Shout out to Kane uh, Highland. Um, yeah, man, guys, you got to realize there's a lot of women who are out there who will help and facilitate uh, help facilitate you and support you in, in your dreams. You know how I know? My channel has, a, I have an assistant for my channel. All these, that's why y'all never see like any comments or any like negative silly stuff from trolls or females. She gets those right away and deletes them. Block, 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 block. Guys, just this past week alone, she blocked probably like over 200 trolls. People try to do silly reaction videos. Guess what? She just blocked, blah, 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 blah. That's why my channel is so clean. And this is, she don't just block on my, my YouTube channel. She blocks on my Instagram she uh she blocks them if they try to come to Twitter, which really people really do. So uh, always, if you're gonna deal with the one, this is my main chick. I, I call her my assistant still. But uh, and this is a round the clock thing, right? So uh, if you're gonna deal with a woman, make sure yeah you guys are hooking up, having sex, but make sure she's helping you and supporting you in uh, your goals and the things that you have going on. I remember I was in school many years ago, studying for exams and doing everything and for finals. I was dealing with uh, like a couple females in school. They would slide through and uh, help me make flashcards, help me study this, this, and that. And they was both they both was buying, so they would you know I would smash them, and then they would you know had a thing going on. We would eat, so it, you know always have a woman help you know help help you get to wherever you're trying to be. How can I get to to you on Instagram? Oh yeah, uh, Darius M Network. Here's my Instagram, Darius M Network. Go add me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll put up the links too, guys. Matter of fact, let me do that. So go ahead, go ahead, follow me on Twitter. Cause not a lot of uh, well, a lot of people follow me on there. Follow me on Twitter at uh, Darius M Network. There's the link for all you guys, and I'll put up the Instagram. I've noticed how clean your comment section and your vids are. That's what's up. Yeah, Scott Gwen. Like, got, when I say y'all, we got it's tons of trolls each and every week. Like, I, because this thing, the reason why I have this, my, my, my main chick, she's my assistant, and, and she should be, is because I have so much going on, right? I have a lot of things going on outside of YouTube. I got so many consultations I do. There's my Instagram as well. Uh, Darius uh, M Network and on Twitter. So go ahead, go ahead and follow me on both of those. Uh, I got so much st st stuff going on. So me dealing with a random female or a troll, I, I, it, it just, it's pointless. So boom, block, boom. I mean, I just block, 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 block. Because a lot of people, what they do, especially female trolls, because I'm speaking the truth and they don't like the truth. What, what, what's happening? Here's the thing. Even, and I've got like women in the, in like pre videos. Before I get started, I bring hard evidence of women saying everything that I've been saying. This on my main channel. You still got women coming in, and they just like, well, why don't you go date a man then? I can tell you don't have a girlfriend. I can like, I can tell you're a virgin. It's like, it's just it's literally laughable because the only thing they want is they like. If you see any females in the comment sections that, that try to troll or shame, they have no life. They have no man. They have no boyfriend. They have no husband. And no man wants to be with them. So the only uh, attention they try to get is they try to get attention from us, guys online in the YouTube comment section. That's why I tell you guys, do not comment 
Don't reply back to any females on any social media platform. I have to. I, I even block dudes who try to do that crap. Like a, a dude was in on Instagram going back and forth with a, with a female. I blocked him and blocked her. And and, and this is what you guys have to understand. Women do not like the truth. If I if I tell you how women manipulate uh, us guys in a video, you think women are gonna like that? If I tell you guys uh, women use dudes for free meals, or if I tell you guys like. You don't need to take a woman out on a date to have sex with her. If she's genuine to you, she'll she she'll she'll have sex with you without you paying anything. Women will be like, oh, oh, uh, you you like they can't even refute the video. They just say, well, you can't get laid, and it's just it's just so laughable. Block, 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 block. I've even blocked dudes who come with silliness because there be some dudes that be coming with like, you know, goof, just goofy stuff block right so um that that's um something i was actually telling the guy on a consultation with earlier uh before i got on uh, live and dropped the video uh, when it comes to women guys you're gonna have to specifically them any personally i don't talk to women who have negative energy right i don't i don't interact with women uh, if I'm not gaining anything from it or if I'm not having sex. Like when I say I'm sh like strict with the energy I give off throughout the day, especially online, I will post something and then go away. I'm gone. I will drop a video, let my assistant get rid of the comments. Right? And that's how you guys should be. For all you guys who might be... Um, commenting and, and, and going against women in the, in the comment section, you are a freaking idiot. Whoever's watching this, if you are interacting with women on social media and commenting and liking their posts and, and just arguing back and forth, you're, you're an idiot because you're not getting anything out of it. And she's getting everything she needs because women thrive off energy, especially negative energy. You guys realize that these women that you are, that are on social media... They're alone, single, and miserable. So they look to try to extract any sort of attention from a guy, even if it's negative. Oh man, Darius, I'm gonna start sending you these female Tinder bios here. Yeah, uh, guys, if you have any um any TikTok videos or uh, uh, uh any um. Any sort of content that I could, you know, throw up on Instagram, Twitter, or, or maybe do a video on it, uh, go ahead, email me. Or if you like, if you like a one-on-one -on -one consultation, go ahead, email me, man. Give me more content. So here's my email. There's, do you have? kind of schedule of streams length of streams just for my planning um I, I i try to go live uh tuesday thursday and sunday sundays are usually always a go but a lot of times it depends on if i have consultations so uh if i have one i have to squeeze this one in for you guys because i have a cons two consultations earlier one in the morning and one probably like maybe uh, three hours ago so it depends on my work schedule and, and things i gotta do <clears throat> But when I get when I do live streams, I don't want them to be rushed. I don't want me to like, okay, I gotta go live today, so I gotta I gotta come up with some title. No, I want them to be uh, fresh, good energy, organic. Don't give energy like that to women you don't even know. Exactly, guys, you gotta stop. Guys, stop talking to women like that on social. Guys, I don't even talk to women on social media. I don't. No, like nothing because the the vast majority of women on social media. They're on there because they don't have a life. They don't have, they can't attract the guy. Matter of fact, they can probably attract the guy, but they can't keep a guy. And they're really mad. Guys, you got to realize women are, are angry because they can't keep a guy. That's that word, keep. They can get sex. Dudes will smash them out and then they gone. Shout out to Jay. When you give women the reaction she craves, she wins. Exactly. I don't give these women no reaction. None. All I do is block them. Block, block, block. I've had women come to different social media platforms. I just had a chick like, uh, I think yesterday, 
She was like, you the dude that did that uh, video? I got some time. I, I, I kid you not, it was yesterday. She commented, I just happened to look. I got some time to argue today. And I said, see? And I just started laughing. This, and I didn't reply back. I just blocked her and, and deleted the comment. But this is, um, it, it, was, it was really telling. It was really funny. Because women, you got to realize, if you say something that's truth, that's honest and truthful, and it doesn't sit well with them, or, or it's like really telling about them, they will literally go from YouTube, then they'll go to Instagram, then they'll go to Twitter, then they'll go to, they'll, they'll try to get you on Snapchat, they'll try to do anything for a reaction. And when I heard that female, like saw the female comment yesterday, she's like, you the dude that did that video about something about her ego. Oh, let's argue. I got time today. I'm like, who is this? I, I literally laugh, delete, block. And that's the that's that's what women do. They like validation. They need attention. No attention. Delete. Now, the only exception, if a woman says, hey, I need a consultation. I can kind of talk to you. All right, cool. But the chances of that happening is slim to none. That would never happen. Women ain't asking for no help or no consultation. <laughs> right? Like this one's for the Fiji Water Fund. Darius Cheers. Shout out to Scott Gwynn. And guys, if you like to contribute via PayPal or Cash App, all 100% proceeds will go to me. Uh, I'll put the links up. If you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, uh, there's the link. Oh, and Venmo. So we got we got three different uh, ways you can contribute. All of them in the, uh, the live stream. <clears throat> yeah, then they then they try to uh, maybe dig up the just just silly things. And, that, and you got to realize that's females. Women don't play fair. They try to do anything they can to uh, gain control, especially. And I noticed the only women who do that. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Tev. Tev Al. Uh, the only women who cause that sort of ruckus are the women who are either feminist, overweight, unattractive and single. Like, guys, you got to realize, oh, this is why I tell you your, your value is so high because you just being with a woman in a relationship, dude, that's going to keep, that's going to save her from a lot of misery. That's going to keep her off social media, arguing, debating. My man, she ain't chilling on social media. I mean, she has it, but guess what? She's at peace with me. This is why, when, when, when uh, uh, that's why I honestly feel that a man should be charging a woman if she wants a relationship because they the ones that want the relationship that bad. Let's be honest. The ideal situation for us, man, she slide through. I smash a few times and I go to sleep. I eat. So if women are the ones that want the, they try to make it seem like we want the relationship that bad. Have you noticed that? Press one of y'all noticed that women literally try to make it seem like that. We want the relationship that bad. It's like, dude, like, I'm trying to smash. I'm trying to hook up. What you mean? I'm just trying to have a good time. This is why I tell y'all, man, charge, dude, charge these women. Do y'all see my fingers? Y'all know how y'all pay for women for dates and all this other silly stuff? Charge women. They want a relationship. I want to smash. Okay, I'm going to charge you. No, I'm like no BS. I'm you gotta, you gotta guys, you gotta charge these women. They ask you, shout out to Trey Moore. So where do you see this going? Uh I like hanging out. Man, so many women ask me that in my life. So where do you see this going? So uh uh you know they just like they try to here's what's funny about women. They will try to manipulate you something and say this like, well, you will never that's why you would never have a girlfriend. I don't need a girlfriend if I can get sex anytime I want. Like they try to make it feel like the woman is that. Here's, here's what's funny, guys. Women will try to make it as, appear as like that they're in control of commitment. That's why when they say, oh, you would never get a girlfriend. You will never get a date. Do you not understand that I'm in control of the date? So what do you mean I would never get a date? Before? Like I, I don't have to have a date. I have the keys. I have the blueprint. If I want to take a woman on a date, 
I'll do that months down the road, but I got to get continual sex and continual cooperation, continual submission over months. This is how you know women are literally delusional. They think that they're in control of commitment. You're not, ladies. You're not. If you have a, a question, it's a super chat. It's because there's so many comments in here, I barely can, barely can really see. Or heck, hit the cat, uh, hit the catch up or Venmo, then uh, ask me a question. <clears throat> yeah, they've got me. Oh, I'm bored. So what's wrong, baby? Oh, I need some company. I see some woman on Facebook, and I notice, guys, it's you. It's it's not, ninety nine times out of hundred is black females. They'll say like, I seen a female yesterday. Um, I want a guy to eat my butt out tomorrow. Like, and you see, just you just seen dudes like, where you at? What time we meeting? Like, I'm like, dude, this is sick. And I clicked on her Facebook profile just for the heck of it. She got two kids in the header. And, and guess what? Low-hanging fruit dudes. And it's always black dudes. It's always, man. This is why it's like, man, black dudes, man, we get the worst rap, man. Yeah, they say that. You'll never get a girlfriend. You're like, dude, I'm in control of commitment. What do you mean? Like, women think like being... Here's how women try to manipulate y'all. Because women are always about manipulation. Like, literally, that's her entire life. They'll be like, that's why you would never get a girlfriend. And you sit there like, dude, I'm... Wait a minute. I'm the one that have to actually do the commitment and sacrifice it. You know, so um, it's <clears throat> black men get the worst. Black men get the overall, not all black men, but the vast majority of black men get the worst. Get they all, We always tend to get most of the time, get low hanging fruit. The rejects of the dating community. That's why you see like in the black manosphere um, on, on, uh, on uh, YouTube, you, all you see is basically uh, like black men and black women going at it. Black men saying this, black women saying this. That's all you really see. This is why I personally, me me dealing with black women, that's that's null and void. <clears throat> Janky Show asked me, he, he literally sent me a dollar. He said, what do you think about so-and-so? I'm not answering that because for starters, it's a dollar. That's You got to be a black person. I, I guarantee you, you black. And second of all, I don't care who does a reaction video for me. Send me more than that. Janky show. Then I ask you a question. And so, so when it comes to black men, they're, black men for the most part are about drama. Let's be honest. Um, black women are just so grotesque and overweight and obese and, uh, and have bad attitudes Right. So what's happening is, um, it's frustrating most black men. Now me, I have access to every ethnicity of women, so I don't have that issue. But let's be honest, you can just click on social media, you can just see how how black women operate and how they how they view black men. It's just actually sick. It's just sick and, and disgusting, man. And these low-hanging fruit women hate being alone, so they will house any dude. Yeah. Majority of brothers so feminine because they fathers were never there. I agree with that. Yeah, black men get the worst the worst rap. Uh, me personally, I don't deal with black women. I, 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 my dating and, and relationship and romantic, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. There, there, there are too many options. Let's say there's just too many options. I'm not dealing with headaches. Because here's what I know about black women. Even if you give them a shot, not all, but the vast majority. Even if you give them a shot, what's going to happen is They'll be cool. They'll be a little, you know, cooperative in the beginning. And then they'll try to usurp their authority on you. 
Nah, man. I only, listen, I only deal with feminine cooperative women. And who are, who aren't those women? Got to get rid of these. See you later. See, I told you so. it's going to always be some female in here. See you later. See, I got rid of them quick. Gone. Right? So uh, here's the thing when it comes to black women. When they say, like, we don't want you anyways, for starters, no other ethnicity of man wants to be with a black woman anyway. So here's, and here's the thing, guys. Here's why black women are so angry and frustrated and, and, and like, mad because no other race of men, or I should say ethnicity of men, wants to be with a black woman. Like you, like maybe one. You got Serena Williams, and and she looked like a tranny, to be honest with you. So uh, you have, um, you don't have white men being want to be with black women, or Asian men, or Hispanic men, or Indian, or even Middle Eastern men. You don't have those men. So when you when black women only have black men, and they're frustrated. They're going to take their anger out on black men because they can't go anywhere else to, to uh, get that sort of companionship. I Listen, I can get white women, Hispanic women, Asian women, Indian women, anywhere, uh, uh, not just overseas, here. Right? So so this is why black women are always are really frustrated because they're like, man, uh, you know, nobody... Me, okay, here's the thing. I don't like weave. I like real hair. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of weave. Um, that's just me. Some of y'all might, you know, love the sisters. <laughs> the fact that y'all call them sisters just lets you know that she, you view her as your equal. No other race of men on the planet call women their sister. I don't see no white dude saying, oh, that's my white sister. I don't see no Asian dude like, oh, that's my, that's, that's my sister. I don't see no Indian dude or Middle Eastern dude saying, oh, oh, that's my sister. I don't see any other woman calling themselves queens and goddesses. Get that crap out of here, man. Black women, you're not queens and goddesses. You're just not. What, what's, it, what's a fact is you're the most overweight group of women on this planet by far. That's the truth. You're the most overweight group of women on this planet by far. I think they said 87% of black women are overweight. 87, 8, 7. So that means 8 out of 10 black women, you can say close to 9 out of 10 black women, are overweight. Now, this is not me trouncing on black women. It's just, I'm just speaking. Everything I'm speaking is fact. So if this is hurting you or you saying, man, my mother black, man. My mama black. Dude, show mama black. Of course she is. I can go see her this weekend. I could pick up, give her a call. But facts need to be stated. My mother, she goes to the gym. She's in shape. She looks very young for her age. So she's not grouped with the average, the everyday black woman that you run into. And I mean, let's be honest, she's a little old school, so she's not like these chicks. So when people say, oh, uh, well, your daughter's a black or your mother's black or, 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 like they try to use shaming taxes to shut you up. No. No, black women, you are behind the eight ball. Do you not understand? You're undesirable. The vast majority of you. This, this is not me hating, but this is just fact. These are, this is the actual statistics, right? So uh, this is why you see um, certain dudes, you know, <clears throat> hold on, we have... Uncle Ruckus was right. Never have I seen a black woman running out. Like, you know, I seen one black female in the gym like five, like four months ago. And she was eyeballing me hard. It's like, what you looking at me for? I'm looking at these snow bunnies. I'm looking at these other females. And she was a little bigger. A little, she was a little thicker. It was just like, she was a, I'm, I'm like, I'm looking at these other chicks. Listen, me, I want to be able to pick a woman up and not struggle. That's another thing I didn't mean to get into. Guys, if you are currently having sex with a woman you cannot physically pick up, you gotta let her go. Let her go. Literally. No pun intended. Let her go. You gotta go better for yourself. I always talk about this. But yeah, I'm, I'm in the gym. I'm like, look at all these 
these snow bunnies, these white chicks that's in shape. And I see this black female over there looking like, like, so I'm looking at the snow bunny. Uh, and, and, and his thing, some of you guys might have a pressure for black women, but then that's on you. That's, that's what you want. And his thing, you shouldn't get offended by what I'm saying. If you already, if you're dating in a relationship life, if your romantic uh, situation is good with black women, like guys, if you're with a black woman right now and she's not anything that I'm talking about, she's not overweight, she doesn't have a bad attitude, she has good morals, good character, she's feminine, there's no reason why you should be getting upset at me. You should be like, man, Darius, what you talking about, man? My, my, my little sister, my queen, you shouldn't even be watching this live stream. That is just fact. Brooklyn boy 43. And I'll answer that question because it was black. So how did you get black daughters if you don't deal with black women? Well, by default, whatever I impregnate, whether she's white, Hispanic, Asian, they're going to be half black. My kid's mom is white. So uh, me, again, me having uh, biracial daughters, that means nothing to the conversation. You know why? Because my daughters are going to be given. Notice I said given not taken away. They're going to be given to a guy who's a strong, ambitious, smart, intelligent man. So at least there's two women who are not going to be feminists. At least there's going to be, so whatever guys out there, at least when, when they get of age, is at least there's going to be two less egotistical, angry maniacs. I'm raising two feminine females who are soft-spoken and know how to cook, clean, and submit. So, that's your question. Oh, that's the answer to your question. <clears throat> guys, you got to understand, when you guys try to shame and say, um, uh, and I got, I, oh, I have custody too, so if any one of you try to say, well, where's the baby mama at? She's not on drugs, she's not on that. I, have to, I just have custody of my daughters. I know. I got it like that. Trust me. So I'm hitting on all cylinders. So there's nothing you can try to bring up. Or you can say, yo, your mama black. Well, of course. She's not like you guys. She doesn't twerk. She doesn't uh, wear all this uh, crazy weave. She's not loud. She's not a, none of that. <clears throat> Let's continue. She's married too. Let's continue. Uh <clears throat> My child's, I just, my child's mother is not black. Society tells women submission is bad consistently. Um, their dating has become way easier since I became a homeowner. That I agree with. I'm a, let's bring that up. Uh, when it comes to dating and hooking up women in, in relationships, it's way easier when you have your own place. Whether you're a homeowner or you just have your apartment, whatever. Dating is way easier because women automatically respect you that much more. Like, it, like it, when I had got my own place, like, years and years ago, like, forever ago, like, it was so easy for me because I, I didn't have to, like, try to sneak a girl through, you know, your parents' place or or none of that stuff like that. You know, Guys, you don't have to be necessarily a homeowner. You could just have your own apartment or condo or a townhome or whatever. As long as you have your own domain, you're good to go. Because women go respect you because they know, man, I can get put out at any time. This dude can kick me out. But if you living with her under her roof and you like, yeah, you know, living with her, like women are automatically trying to kick you out. They'll, they'll automatically try to play some games because that's just how the female is. They don't res women don't respect men who live with them and his thing, rightfully so. So it's not like a gift. Oh, that's female nature. I'm living with my girl. Man, she you know, she always on me. Yeah, because she know it's 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 not how things should be. It, it's going against the biological imperative for you to live under another woman's roof. So of course she's gonna naturally buck. She's gonna naturally give you headaches. She's gonna naturally cause issues. She's gonna naturally be mad. But when you have your own place, your dating and relationship life will be a thousand times easier. Because guess what? You can kick her out at any time. Women who come to your place, they have no choice but to submit. What are they going to do? 
Like straight up, like what they gonna do? They gonna come over your house and tell you what to do? I ain't doing this. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> See ya. Adios. Right? So you're saying that there are no submissive feminine? Hey, hit the super chat, Brooklyn Boy Forty Three. You ask. Hey, here's what we're gonna do. If anybody has a question, I want you to hit the super chat. I will not acknowledge it uh, because he's like. So what you're saying is, I just asked the one. Anybody who have a question, remember right now, hit the super chat. Where can I go as a 17 year old mate to meet high quality women at my age? Well, uh, what you should be doing, Daniel, I'm going to be honest, you should be uh, worried about your future. Make sure you have your future in line because you're only 17. I mean, it's going to be it's gonna be tons of females. They're not even women. They're not even of age yet, of legal age. You're 17, and, but when you're 18 and you know what you plan on doing for the next decade or at least five years, okay, start getting out there. What, what needs to happen, Daniel? Is uh, honestly, don't worry about getting women or, or, or smashing women because these chicks are, are, are everywhere. You're not missing out on anything. All these females of all ages getting ran through. I, I promise you. Trust me. What you need to be focused on is what you're going to school at if you want to go. If you were trying to do a trade, you need to advance your education. It don't have to be like a university. It can be maybe a community college. It can be a, a, a trade. Maybe you're trying to do trucking. Maybe you want to do plumbing. Maybe you want to be an electrician. Maybe you want to be uh, do some construction. Whatever you want, whatever the case may be. But you need to have a goal and a plan first and foremost, or multiple goals and plans. I always tell guys this: Listen, um, if you don't have your own place, and this is, I'm being sincere, if you don't have your own place to call your own, you shouldn't be trying to have sex with women. That should be your last concern. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Because these women ain't going nowhere. They still going to be just walking around like on social media complaining or uh, friend zoning dudes. They're just going to be like your 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 tw your teens and 20s matter the most. I'm 32. Th trust me, things will go up, up, up real fast. But uh, then you need to focus on. Uh, uh, do you have a vehicle? Do you have a car? Get your old place. Get, uh, make sure you have some reliable transportation. Make sure you have a. a a job that's full time, done part time. Make sure you're able to support yourself, and make sure you are t either taking classes or or um, doing something to progress your life. You have to have multiple goals. Try to get multiple streams of income before you smash chicks. Now I'll say this: if you if you got all if you start to get all that, if you got there things going, okay, you can smash chicks. I'm not saying you. Oh, make sure you get a master's degree first, then you smash chicks. No, you can smash chicks on the way, but as long as you stay focused. Now, at 17 years old, your testosterone is raging it through the roof. 17, 18, 19. Some guys say he's 19 in college. Like, so you guys gonna have to really make sure you're focusing on what you, at your, your goals and what you need to focus on. Because I mean, quick like that, you can fall in love with a chick and be like, "Man, I, I love you," whatever. And then guess what? Here you are, probably knock the girl up, threw your life away, whatever, you know. I, I, uh, I go to the gym five times a week. <clears throat> you're right there, man. Focus on your goals while you're young is, is the way. Like, like, man, I focus on my goals, but, you know, I, I, I was, you know, dibbling, dabbling different chicks, but I wish I would have focused on them that much more. Now, I'm doing great. At, at 32 years of age but guys just understand when it comes to females yeah know how to attract them and get them but at the same time make sure you put your goals and your purpose and everything um uh, above all if you have a question to super chat, how to how to maintain waves and exercise hit the super chat i'll tell you that or donate via paypal cash app or venmo um unless you are an apex predator member what you do to your skin, Darius, looks healthy. I drink a lot of Fiji water, and um, I use Jack Black. If y'all heard of Jack Black products, 
I use those products, but uh, mainly it's just drinking water and just working out. That's what it is. Drinking water and working out. That, that's what's going to make your skin really clear and everything. Can you treat clients the way you treat women? What do you mean uh, clients? What do you mean by that? Can, can I treat clients? I'm, elaborate on it. I'm confused. So yeah, make sure, like I'm telling you guys, guys, you guys, this is a tip because as you get older, that's what you really need to, first of all, you need to start, you know, form good habits right now. How, I don't care how old you are, but as you get older for you guys in the teens and twenties, drinking Fiji water, it, it really helps. Oh, water in general, but Fiji specifically, it really helps. It helps, it helps you sleep better. It gives you more energy. It's help, it helps with blood circulation. Your breath won't smell as bad. It helps with cavities, uh, all types of different things. It actually whitens your teeth. I I ask uh, I ask excuse me I answer all subscribers' questions. So guys, if you want your questions answered, either you be, you can become an Apex Predator member. Or you can just donate to the church. Whatever you want to do. So um, drinking water is... I mean, all I do is drink water. Drinking water, period. I might have some wine on a rare occasion. Pomegranate juice, I heard, is beneficial. Um, on a rare occasion, but... I just drink water. That's it. And I feel a thousand times better. Because to me, uh, my image, my, specifically my face, is very... I mean, I got to watch out for it because I'm always on camera. Thousands upon thousands of, upon thousands of people watch me every single week. So I'm always in the public eye, literally. So um, taking care of your skin really starts with what you digest and what you take in. Because you can have like, uh, you can have the best products for your face. But if you if you drink in all this trash stuff, it's like putting lipstick on a pig. Right. Hot showers is important, too, because that's going to open up your pores. So always take uh, hot showers, heck, even baths. He's right. Drink lots of water. It helps a ton with everything. It helps. Water helps literally with everything, guys. Yeah, you guys will be amazed. So water, the gym, hot showers. It's that simple. Your, your life will be that, that much better. You'll live longer. You'll have far more energy. Like before, when I, when I used to drink... Um, like tons of juice and, and Mountain Dew and stuff. Like, I mean, I used to be like tired. I used to be like, man, I'm, I'm like, uh, just just overall kind of tired. But then I start drinking water, man. It just it changes your your body. Oh, vitamins as well. Make sure you guys are eating vitamins. That's a plus. Like. Yeah, make sure you guys are drinking uh, or eating vitamins. So vitamins, water, hot showers, the gym. That's it. Um, is it normal to act more of a beta with your clients and your coworkers? Why would I act beta with anybody? Long Long Island, I got, why would I act beta with anyone? I'm not going to switch up with anything. I'm not sure what you... Are you, are you saying uh, am I going to be more passive with them? Take zinc before you go to bed for the best results. Um, yeah, speaking of vitamins, these are the type of vitamins I, I, uh, I take. Yeah, I take Nature's Made, right here. Nature's Made. Gummies. You you take you eat these man, over forty five years of expertise, but you uh you take multivitamins, key nutrients for daily uh, nutritional support, like it'll hit you fast, especially when you start getting older. You like man, I'm, you know you 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 need maximum energy the older you get. Uh, that was a weird question, Long Island. You've been hearing my dude. Acting more beta 
to be more nice. No, you don't need to be beta to be nice. Um, consume high protein while exercising. Make sure you're eating a lot of greens and, of course, vitamins. Um, gym membership should always be standard, of course. help as well guys yes, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you haven't already done so <clears throat> gyms are closed here but I still grind at home trail mix is really good for sexual energy I heard that before just energy in general I heard, tra heard trail mix but sexual yeah but uh, you know a lot of things can be good for energy. Protein shakes after, before workouts. I drink, when I drink protein shakes, I work out. It's one before or half of it before, half of it afterwards. So um, there's a lot of things you can do to, uh, you know, uh, the outside more often. I'd be taking walks to the beach and stuff. For you, Scott, Scott Gwen, for you guys living in, in, in really nice, like, areas, Man, y'all better get out there and walk, man. Y'all better. I wish, you know, things were. Um, it, it's like two degrees outside here in Chicago. I was talking to a guy in Cali. He lived like a couple days ago. I'm like, dude, man, you, uh, you, you got, you gotta. Y'all better be grateful for y'all live. It's two degrees right now. I'll see some dude running outside here. I'm like, dude, man, it's, it, it's like seven a.m. in the morning. Man, you freaking crazy. So guys, you gotta you gotta really enjoy um, where you live. Scott Gwynn said, "I'm from Cali, where the Bay is." Man, dude, y'all better get out there. Where he's at home when I don't have time for the gym. Sometimes, <clears throat> like when it comes to like doing things at home, I be liking like the reason why I like the gym is because you know it, it just gives you that that much more you know a little oomph. You got other people around, you know. Plus, I like to, you know, be a little social. Got to keep the social game going, you know. So, you know, you, you interact with people. You know, you might find a chick or two, a female, you know, chop up a little game. You know, just to keep your mouthpiece fresh during quarantine. So, I pay, you know, you know, go to Planet Fitness, whatever. And, you know, just get a good workout. You got other guys, you know, you can, you know, interact with. And it, it just, it feels... Uh, you get a little more boost when you go to the gym. Right? If you have a question, to super, hit the super chat, man. Um, where we at? We ain't had that many trolls. We got a few guys who comment silly things. Gym memberships is just 30 bucks a month. Guys, you got to understand. Um, here's what, I, here's what I, I found funny about men. They um, they will pay top dollar for a female. But when it comes to like their health or like a gym membership, they're like, oh, I ain't got it. Or if you tell dudes, uh, like, yeah, become an Apex Predator member for $10 a month. Oh, I ain't got it. I got to save up. I got a uh, one day. But you got dudes, I done had consultations with guys, dudes sp sp spending fifty, sixty thousand dollars on females. To, uh, Five thousand dollars on trips. Some dude recently spent, I talked to dude, he done spent seventy five hundred dollars on a round trip to Iceland. I'm like, dudes be spending like crazy amounts of money on women. But when it comes time to do like dudes doing something for themselves. Man, like, guys, y'all already realize, men, in order for a woman to survive, a guy has to overvalue her. A guy has to see her as the greatest thing on this earth. That's the only way women have survived. This is why women don't like my content, because when I tell guys, oh, you're the, men are the prize, they're like, oh, no, no. You know why? It's not that, that they think, uh, they don't think we're the prize. It's just the fact that if I tell men they're the prize, I tell them their value, women are like, oh, no, no, you're not. 
No, you're not. Uh, you ain't the prize. We the prize. Because they need that manipulation uh, sort of power and tactic to survive. How can a woman survive without a guy overvaluing her? Just look at Sierra Russell Wilson. Sierra is something she had a little, she had a little, a few dollars. Right? There we go. We give her the, we give her the trolls. Don't worry. Any trolls, moderators, you know what to do. Um, so that's why uh, when, when guys, when individuals say, well, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, who hurt you? Like the individual came in. Who hurt you? That's all, it's, it, it's actually become so ridiculous. Who hurt you? Did your, your mom didn't hug you? It's literally the same thing. It's like, I mean, come on. You guys got to come up with something else. I mean, <clears throat> it, it, it means something. That's because women want you, in order for a woman to survive, you as a man have to overvalue them. Because if you see the value in yourself and you see her a woman's true value, you'll be like, wait a minute, what am I getting out of this deal? Like guys, women require, in order for a woman to get the best out of life and, and, and uh, to survive, she can't have a guy ask this question. She can't have a guy ask, so what's in it for me? Or, so what do you bring to the table? If you, as a man, ask that question to a woman, completely shut down. So what you bring to the table? So what's in it for me? Why should I choose you to be in a relationship with? Like, if you ask those questions, it's women, every single woman on this planet, done. Done, period. Because they're relying on you not to ask that question. They don't want you to say, oh, uh, uh, I love you. You're the most amazing girl in the world. This is the ideal like situation woman. Oh, man, you're my queen. You're my goddess. Uh, you mean so much to me, baby. Oh, I will love you forever. That's what women want you to do. I wish, I, I, baby, what do you want me to take you? Baby, what do you want? Baby, let's go on this amazing trip. She ain't done nothing for you. See, women don't like to hear this rhetoric. So when I do spew, when I do talk about these things and tell men, ask your, like, get, get your head out of the clouds. Ask women these questions. Ask yourself these questions. What women will do is they'll come in and, who hurt you, Darius? You can't get laid, Darius. You would never have a girlfriend. Like, women come to all types of... I mean, every single platform. Practically. Oh, dear, you're, you're still a virgin. Look at this guy. He can't get a girlfriend. Because I tell guys to ask, what's in it for them? What's Listen, literally, ladies, what's in it for me? Oh, you, you're, you're, you're weird. Right, because they don't want you to ask that. Because they have nothing in it for you. <laughs> Y'all see how this works? The vast majority of women, they don't have... They don't even have anything in store for you for the relationship. They're just like, oh, I'm, I want a boyfriend. I want to get married. Okay, so what is it for me? Well, um, uh, I'm funny. No, you, you, no you're not. I can, uh, like, I have, I can cook a, a mean pot roast. I had a chick tell me that, like, I can cook a mean pot roast. You're like, man, that's it? So I'm looking like, yo, what am I getting out of this? And women don't want you guys to ask that stuff. You see what I'm saying? Like a lot of individuals, somebody said, who hurt you though? You see how there's no, um, there's no real, uh, and I'm not mad at you individuals because you have no real rebuttal to my argument or my uh, my statements. They just say, oh, who hurt you though? So who hurt you? Who, who Are you going to therapy now? You see how it is? It's never anything like, it's never, uh, if a woman came in here and said, Hey, this is as a woman, this is what I offer a man. But they don't say that. They just try to troll and then they get mad and then they try to go to another account, another account, another account. And they try, it just comes up because they know they don't offer anything. They know that they're not desirable. They know that no man wants to be with them long term. And they're getting angrier and angrier. Angry, angry, angry. Because, ladies, at the end of the day, if you any one of you women listening, we control the commitment. We control the relationship. You control sex. And guess what? That's nothing. You know how easy to get sex? It's nothing. Sex is extremely 
Like, I don't even... Most guys are like, man, sex is like... It's, okay, here's the thing. When it comes to sex, this is a, another level of game, right? I don't... Like, let's say a woman comes over to my house tonight. Like, a, a chick I just, you know, a uh, number I got like a couple days ago. She comes to my house for the first time tonight. I'm not trying to have sex with her because for necessarily, for necessarily for pleasure, what I'm doing it uh, for is to see if she'll cooperate. To see if she'll follow my lead. To see if she's submissive. That's what get, that's what a man having sex with a woman is. It's her cooperating. That's all it is. Yeah, it's pleasure for most dudes, let's be honest. Blow a chick back out. Bust your nut. But what ultimately is, is to see if she's going to cooperate. So if she comes to your house, she's like, no, I ain't doing that. Uh, no, I, it's, I, I can't do that on the first date. Okay, that means you're not really into me and you're not cooperating. So there's the door. I'm not going to make you do anything. There's the door. I had a female say um, in the comment section, like, oh, that's coercion. Like these, it's it's crazy. It's That's coercion. And you're like, what you mean? You're trying to coerce these women to have sex? Because I tell a woman, hey, you know, I express my interest sexually. If she doesn't want to have sex, you can leave. So see, see, guys, you gotta understand the the manipulative manipulative tactics women try to throw at you because you tell a woman to leave and she ain't trying to uh, hook up and have sex. They, they think that oh, I as a woman is supposed to have, uh, is supposed to monopolize your time. I put a straight jacket on your mind and your time. So as this is a woman thing. As a woman, you can't get rid of me as a female. I can get rid of you though. As a woman, I can reject you if I don't like whatever you did. But as a man, they don't want you to say, oh, she don't have sex, get rid of her. If she don't want to have sex, just tell her to leave. If she ain't trying to hook up, if she ain't into you, don't, don't waste your time. This is what women don't want you guys to do. They want you to sit around and just say, well, one day, well, I'll just, maybe another week, maybe in three weeks. They don't want you to give me the, they don't want me to give you the cheat codes, guys. <clears throat> that's what, that's what frustrates them. Frustrates them. Um, Raz said, how much money does a woman need to make for your dating standards? What do you, what do her finances need to look like? That's a good question. Um, uh, R.A.D. or Raz says, how much money does a woman need to make for my for my dating standards? What do her finances need to look like? Here's the thing. My main chick, she works. What she needs to take care of, because I don't look for women to like make boatloads of money. She needs to be able to take care of herself. She needs to either uh, most likely have her own place. If she doesn't have her own place, at least a roommate or something. She needs to have some sort of savings, some, some money. She, need to, she needs to be able to say, hey, um, uh, if we let's say me and my mate should go out tonight. She needs to be able to cover the bill. I say, hey, go ahead and take care of that. Matter of fact, I shouldn't even have to. She'll just do it. When it comes to Valentine's Day, what needs to happen is she needs to contribute. See, this past Valentine's Day, uh, that wasn't me. Like, Oh, my woman is so amazing. No, guess what? My main chick, we went to a nice place. She took me out somewhere. She bought me some things. We went to the mall. She did us. See, guys, I'm telling you, there are quality women out here. You just have to uh, have standards, though. And you have to you have to demand certain things. If these women ain't uh, doing whatever uh, your, you, your demands are or your standards, you got to let them go. You see how it is? It's, it's never who hurt all of you. It's, it's always the same thing. It's actually just repetitive and repetitive and repetitive. That's why I usually do uh, member-only live streams, right? So when it comes to women, right, um, and, and, and moderators, make sure you monitor the trolls, please. My, hey, where are the moderators at? I could have swore we had at least a, 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 a half do, a dozen moderators. Moderators, where are y'all at? Somebody who been in, donate some shekels so I can so I can make y'all moderator.
Uh, I gotta donate. Y'all gotta donate, man. Divorce rates went skyrocket during. That's a lot of trolls I ever seen in the stream. That's because I opened it up, and I y'all know I never opened it up. I never opened a live stream up, but I wanted a little live Q and A. Probably the last time I ever do this. Not only a few trolls, but here's the thing. That's what I was saying. When when it comes to guys having relationships with women, right? I have a relationship. So so when it uh, Nicholas Penn, there you go. Uh, wrench me up, Nicholas Penn. I thought you was a moderator already. Where you been, man? Nicholas Penn, he he been with me since I had like ten thousand subscribers on the main channel. Now we had approaching 170, 180. So Nicholas Penn been in for a while. So um, the thing about it is, uh, when it comes to you guys having successful situations with women, what needs to happen is you need to have standards. You need to keep listening to my videos and consult me, but you need to uh, do what you need to do. And become attractive and have them and switch your mindset so you can have successful romantic situations with women. Guess what? Valentine's Day was a few days ago, a week ago or something like that. I ain't bad at no Valentine's Day. My chick bought, took me out and bought me things. Guys, let, let me tell y'all something, man. Let me give y'all some a, a deeper level of game. Your value is so high. A woman should be paying you. To be in that relationship with her. Give me an example. Can a woman protect you? Yes or no? No, she can't. Can a woman uh, give you mental stability? No, she can't. As, if anything, she'll get, drive you insane a lot of the times if you ain't careful. So you give her, you protect her, you give her mental stability, you give her security. She can't. Even if she had money, she ain't trying to give you no security like that, like that. Let's be honest. So she, she can, you can protect her. You can um, give her security. You can comfort her. You, 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 you can uh, guide her. Make sure she's emotionally stable. You're a, guys, you're a status symbol. A lot of dudes don't understand. When a woman is out walking with you hand in hand or she's holding your arm, that's security and a status symbol. Women, listen, women crave that. They dream about that stuff. Y'all don't understand. Women dream about being arm in arm and hand in hand with the guy at the mall over here. That's a status symbol. This is why women love relationships. So guess what? You should actually be charging. Some of y'all like, man, there's all know about that. Yeah, you should be charging. She should be doing things, a lot of stuff for you. Not, it shouldn't be necessarily be the other way around. She should be proving herself at all times. Especially if you're on point. Especially if you have everything going for yourself. You, you should, guys, man, you should, man, you should be demanding. But dudes ain't demanding nothing. They're just like, well, we're going to have sex, so that's it. Oh, we got the shots out to go. I forgot. You've been here for a long time. I just enjoyed myself on Valentine's Day. I don't even know the last time I simped or even talked to a girl. I'm more of an introvert. A lot of guys don't understand. It's not necessarily if you... Guys, you talking to a girl doesn't mean you're simping. If you're pandering, if you, you know, uh, give her validation and say how beautiful she is, she's, that's simping. So if you have a ca casual conversation and and you chopping up game and you saying, oh, okay, we should get together. You, you're, you're progressing and moving things forward. That's not simple. Right? So a, a lot of guys um, don't, don't really understand it. Uh, yeah, so Sean Santiago, you, you're a moderator. Um, <clears throat> where we at? I have five star hotel in my city. I'm getting attention from women who stand their guests in lobby bar restaurant. They stay they stand along and board. How contact them if I want to get money for my energy? What do you mean? How 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 do you contact them if I want to get money for my energy? I'm confused. Rephrase that boss man.
So, so uh, you guys got to really understand your value. And most dudes don't. And women don't really want you to understand this. Because women want a free, like a free ride. Guys, y'all don't understand. Women, they'll sleep around and do all that stuff. But then on the back end, they'll want a free ride. They're like, oh, I want, I want an uh, easy life. Women like comfort. Women don't like discomfort. They don't like a, 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 a life of heartache and pain. This is why when they do jobs, it's usually uh, paper pusher jobs. Or they're in the office. Or they're, uh, you know, they're not in the elements, out there in the elements like that. They're inside somewhere in the air conditioner or in the heat. Women don't like work. They just want to appear as if they're independent. So they can get some makeup and a, and a, and a couple other things, you know, some little knickknacks and stuff. That's why you see most women, what, what do they have? They usually have uh, uh, roommates. That's because they ain't trying to pay no rent like that. They ain't trying to foot the bill totally. So they'll have like three roommates. The rent be a thousand dollars, or I should say, the rent be like twelve hundred dollars, and they'll split it four hundred, four hundred dollars, four hundred, four hundred, four hundred. Uh, Darius Smith, should I pay for the date after setting it up? What you need to do is donate to me, because you probably uh, overpay for that date. Whatever you're doing. Um, one brain says, just want to contribute to the fun and say thanks for making the videos. The knowledge has only improved my life. Shout out to Mr. One Brain. Thank you for contributing, brother. Shout out to Nicholas Penn. Thank you for showing up and being a moderator. Deshaun, shout out to our new moderators. Uh, he said, I just want to make more money, honestly. That's your issue. So go make more money. Ask, the issue is, ask yourself how many jobs you got. If you got one part-time job, why you ain't doing more? Even if you got one full-time job, you should have more or something else. You guys, you should be working 60 hours a week. That's that's very doable. It, it, it really is. 60 hours a week. That's what's from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. That, that's really not that difficult. At least 50. Because 40 is like, uh, still got some energy. You should be working at least at least fifty, guys. You can cap it off at sixty. No problem, Deshaun South Tackle Jackson. Mm. Um, I'm looking at comments. Yes, how do I get? Mature women, but not in a serious relationship. Um, here's uh, how, how do you get a mature woman? So if you I, you mean mature by shout the gift Obi by a woman um who comes through. What do you mean by mature? What's your version of mature? She's consistent. She comes through. She's submissive. She doesn't play any games. So what's your what's your idea of, of mature? But if that's the case, uh, if you don't want a relationship, let me say this, guys. Um, every woman on this planet will want a relationship eventually. Like, if y'all having sex, it might not be like... Some women, they won't bring the relationship up. They'll just be like, okay, so just come through. If you don't want a long-term like or, or serious, you'll just have to uh, just have her come through. And how you do that, you just have her come through at night. Like, don't, don't, have, a, don't have a woman... If y'all want the key to having a, a consistent hookup or like a consistent like uh, friends with benefits or F buddy, key is only have her come out at night. That's number one. Come or come, come over. She only comes over at night. Number one. Number two, don't talk to her about any feelings. Don't bring up family members. Don't bring up like your personal life. It should be she coming over. Y'all watch the movies. Y'all eat. Hey, what's up? And y'all smash. That's number two. Number three, make sure you don't go out during the day with her. Don't, don't go outside your door if you want that friends with benefits. Trust me. Because once you go out that door, I remember I had one like uh, a few years ago. And this, is, this one female, she used to come over all the time. She was, she was consistent for like eight months. I was smashing. She'd come over like once or twice a week constantly. Then I remember... It was like in the summertime. I was like, uh, hey, I'm going to go to uh, Walgreens real quick, real quick uh, get something to eat. I'm going to get a snack. You want to come? Her eyes lit up like, oh, yeah. Right? Soon as she came, 
Because I had never been, like, basically out the door or, like, anywhere, like, with her like that unless I, I had talked to her first time. We went to the store and everything. She started grabbing my arm and everything and, have, you know, just holding my arm. I didn't really mind. I got, a, you know, a couple snacks. And I was like, you want something? She's like, uh, sure. She got a couple things. Came back to my crib, smashed and everything, like, as usual. The very next time, we were supposed to hang out. She was like, hey, um, when are we going to go on a date or something? I'm like, what you mean? A date or something? And then it just went all downhill. I, I smashed that night and then one more time she came over, then she just drifted off. So if you want a friends with benefits or a consistent smash chick, it's going to slide through. Number one, make sure she comes over at night. Number two, make sure you don't go outside your door with her. Even if it's to the store to get a quick snack. Cause she's going to start thinking, oh, it's date time now. It's relationship time. And number three, don't open up. Uh, excuse me. Number three, don't open up about any uh, like uh, issues you got, got going on in your life. Don't talk about family. Don't talk about uh, um, just, just different uh, things at work. Don't bring up, you know, uh, maybe tragic, tragic things happening in your, in your life. And, you know, don't, don't open up like that. Don't, don't, don't get into, uh, like, um, just friends and family or like, you know, somebody coming in from town or maybe you going to a little, uh, wedding, whatever the case may be. Can you send a money order? Uh, you can hey, email me or just, uh, ca listen, it's easier to cash app, Venmo or PayPal me. It's, it's much easier to do that. So I'll drop the links. Also, if you guys want to become an Apex Predator member, there's the link up top of there. It's pinned. $10 a month. You get uh, perks. I get to fo I follow you on Instagram. I follow you on Twitter. <clears throat> Green from Mexico. Your words are the Bible. Shout out to Rail Meyer. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. So, yeah, when you guys contribute to those links, all the 100% proceeds go to me. Where we at? Where we at? Hey, Darius, thank you so much for all you do. You literally saved me and made my life 10 times better. Keep doing what you're doing. Shout out to Mr. Uh, Fishing, Angmo. My baby mama left me. She recently texted saying she was with someone else and pregnant, but I feel like it's a game. Uh, that dude locked out. I, I noticed she was in my comment section. Or you, you, you posted that thing like multiple times before. Something about your baby mama. And, I, and I, I, I take it as true because you've been doing this for the past like six, seven months. I just ignore it, but I guess like she texted you saying she was with somebody else and pregnant. So what does that have to do with you? Um, Joy D says, yo, Derek, you helped me a lot. I used to be a simp. I used to give a lot of money to a girl I used to like in high school. I even paid a school <laughs> A school field trip for her and myself. Now I'm a changed man. I love that, man. Shout out to Joy D. See, women don't like my content because women feel entitled to a man's resources. So when you guys come in here and donate like that or, or we're here supporting each other, sharing ideas, you guys contributed to me as opposed to them, that doesn't, it's, it's, it stings them. It's like, man... It, Women are, are looking for resources. They're looking for a guy who's going to take care of them. And, and if they feel like, man, dudes know their value. They're not going to overvalue me. They ain't going to pay $20,000 for a wedding. They gonna, that, that hurts them, guys. You understand? That truly hurts them. Because most women, they could do better, but they want to do the, they don't want to do bare minimum of anything. They're like, well, I'm just going to wake up, throw on some makeup, throw on some leggings. Like you guys realize you got you barely got women contributing to the conversation via text in person that they they pretty much just you know around they don't got a personality like that they ain't funny they not submissive they're not cooperative you just like you just these chicks just walking headaches right that's because they think okay I got a vagina so well I'm just gonna you know I'm just gonna just be here like straight up just I'm just gonna be on this earth <laughs> right Crazy, man.
crazy. Yes, you need to link up. So, so he talk about how the dating game is harder for black men. He is coming with pure facts, more in-depth knowledge. Uh, well, I don't promote nobody on, his, on any channel, but uh, linking up with anybody. Uh, I'm not. I'm not necessarily a fan of that. Nobody's never had got in contact with me really. But I'm gonna get. It, I'm gonna get to your question. How um, uh, black guy says uh, the dating. The dating game is harder for black men. No, it's not. You know, and for all you black men that might be listening, the dating game isn't hard for you. It's not hard for you. Dating game is not hard for me. You know what it is? It's your mindset. That's all it is. For everybody in here, for that matter, not just black men, but just, just for that question, dating and women aren't hard for anyone. It's hard because it's in your mindset. So you keep if you keep making videos or listen to guys that say, well, black men can't get women or black men can't get the women that they want. Yes, they can. You know why? Because I get the women I want. All the time. You know how I get the women I want? I just go, to, go up to them and talk to them. But guys don't talk to the women that they want. That's the major key. This is why guys are selling with overweight, overweight land whales with bad attitudes with two, three kids. Of course, there's quote unquote racism or, or his thing. Of course, there's been white women that I approached that, that probably wasn't into black dudes or maybe it was racist. I'm not thinking of that though. I'm thinking of, I'm trying to make something happen. I'm not thinking, oh, is this white girl racist? That, that chick, she, she looks, she attractive, but um, she, that white girl look good. Is she, is she, I don't know, she, she might be, her dad might not like me. She might be a little racist. She might be, against black people. She might not like, but I'm not thinking of that. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm thinking about? I'm coming with positive energy. Stop listening to black guys, whoever, stop listening to these idiots that talk about this stuff that, oh, black men have it harder. No, you don't. You don't have it harder. What needs to happen is you need to come with a good attitude. You need to come uh, present yourself as a confident, charismatic guy that you love your life. Guess what? You'll get the woman you want. Period. You know what I mean? Guys, I've been with tons of white chicks who are in shape. I've been with white chicks who, who guys think that, oh, the, uh, th that's Chad's girlfriend. You know, those type of chicks. So those little more sort of cheerleader type of girls that you guys probably faint over. I've been with those women. You know how I got them? Because I just talked to them. I have even did a, a social experiment on the main channel. Uh, I think the first three or five things women noticed about a guy. Guess what? Those women that I was filming all were white. Guess what? I just wanted to talk to them. Oh, I said, hey, um, I got a dating and relationship and life uh, coaching channel on YouTube. You mind if I ask you a question? Oh, sure. That's how it was. And when, when it starts to get warmer in about sometime next month, I'm going to be right, that up, right out there with this same phone interviewing white chicks, Hispanic chicks. I ain't interviewing no black chicks. No, I'm not. I don't know. That's not on my channel. Because I had guys like, you want to interview? Won't you talk to some sisters? No. Let that permeate through my channel. Right? So, so you guys got to realize, man, if you want women, open your mouth. Stop telling yourself, uh, oh man, she ain't going to like me. Exactly, but it, but this his proof is that you have to try harder than other races. It's a fact. The same with work, school, social status. Here's the thing. Um, your mindset will determine your reality. So if I see a white chick, I'm automatically... Hey, leave his comment alone. Don't, don't touch Black Ice's comment. He says you got to work way harder to get a certain type of woman. So let's say this female is white right here. Let's say this is a white chick, for example. Right? And let's say uh, this is a black female representing a black phone, and I'm a black guy. So if I start, if I see that white chick over there, I'm like, and I see a black chick over here, I'm like, man, uh, that white chick, I, I, she probably won't like me. She probably, you know, uh, you know, she looks probably more attractive. Whatever, whatever the case may you feel yourself, I'm like, man, I'm gonna go to her and I'm gonna be more timid, and I'm gonna be more, you know, kind of like uh, because I'm already telling myself. That she's better, that she most likely will reject me, because that's all you're doing, black guys. You're just pedestalizing this white chick. 
She go, she, she pee, she boo boo, she throw up, and she, she bleed once a month. Too many guys are, are saying, well, whoever, uh, black ice, whatever dude you listening to, that's just an excuse. Stop listening to these guys that's telling you it's too hard to get a certain woman. You're just pedestalizing this white chick and saying, well, she probably going to be racist. You don't freaking know that. I'm with a blonde-haired, blue-eyed, white female. And, it, and, her, and she didn't dye her hair. She doesn't wear contacts. She's a blonde-haired, blue-eyed chick. People look at me a lot. When we go out, they're like, most likely wondering and probably thinking what you're thinking, uh, black eyes. Like, man, what are you doing with that girl? You know what I'm doing with that? Uh, you know what she's doing with me? I just went up to her and talked to her. I said, hey, uh, my name is Darius. I noticed you over there. What's your name? Held my hand out. Bam, bam, bam. Chatted a little bit more. Hey, we should get the other hang out sometime. Guess what? Now she's pleasing and serving me. It's just that simple. Too many guys are sitting and complicating things. They're like, man, these girls ain't going to like me, man. I don't know about that, man. She, she, she's a white chick. She's an Asian chick. How, how do you know? Keep telling yourself that. Guess what? You're going to be frustrated because truth be told, Black Ice, you want those white chicks. You want those snow bunnies. You want those Asian women. You want those Hispanic women. You want those non-black women. Stop messing up your confidence. Start telling what, what, needs, <clears throat> what needs to happen is you guys need to start telling yourself positive things. Because when you do, you'll get that. How about just think about this? Let's say you're going in for an interview. You're like, man, I don't even know if they're going to hire me, man. <sighs> I, I just hope they do. Man, I hope they hire me. Man, okay. You put your stuff on. You already got a negative attitude. You already got like, man, I hope so. I think they might be interviewing like 20 people. Guess what? When you go in for the interview, you think they're going to hire you? You already fed yourself negative uh, negative words. When you woke up putting on your, uh, your your suit and your tie. So when you go for the interview, they're going to sense that vibe. Oh, something's off of uh, black ice. I don't know about him. All right, sir. Um, uh, Listen, we'll be in touch. You'll be like, oh, oh okay. And you're going to go and ain't going to be in touch. Because you already... Uh, Cut yourself down. Just like, same thing if you go go up to a, uh, whatever female. Oh, man, that white chick, man, I know. Uh, I, I'm just going to go up to her anyway. Maybe she, no, you got to tell yourself, man, she, of course she like me. You guys got to stop, listen to these negative content creators. You got to stop listening to these guys that, that, that uh, sit on, you know, YouTube and, and are frustrated with life. I, listen, I have the woman that I actually want, and that's rare for most dudes to get. Most dudes are just selling for scraps. You have to guess. You have. You know how I get the woman that I want? Because I talk to the woman that I want, I go talk to them. He said, I'm about to get sponsored by Nature Made. How you know I ain't sponsored by Fiji? <laughs> that's another story. Shout out to Fiji. Um... I would have to promote this this uh, Nature Made on the main channel. They're like, man, this guy. I would have to promote them on there. Uh, but who cares? She's white. Ain't nobody chasing white women. His thing. But this, this, what it is, is back to the guy's question. Not nobody's chasing white women. What I'm saying is most dudes who think that other races of women are, are hard to get or they might not like them on races. No. Love yourself, enjoy yourself, and everything else will fall into place. If you don't, what's going to happen is you're going to be like, man, uh, I don't think she's going to like me, man. Man, she, oh, man. Not every person, man or woman, is an extrovert and don't, and just go up to, up to, people, to people and talking to them. I'm glad you said that, Black Ice. You're digging yourself a deeper hole. No man on this planet, no male, no, no, Male who's born with a uh, with a reproductive organ as a male, a penis, is born extroverted. No man is born with charisma. No male, excuse me, no boy is born with uh, the ability to talk to girls and get women. No male. You, everybody's just born from with a clean slate. Now it's up to you to cultivate those skills and get out there and start interacting and learning. But if you say, well, um, everybody's not an extrovert, you know, you know why you're not an extrovert? 
You know why you can't talk to women and get the women you want? Because you don't do it. That's like me saying, oh, man, I, I can't even, uh, I can't even uh, make a left-hand layup, man. Why? Man, I, I just can't do it, man. I, everybody can't make a left-hand layup. You know why you can't make a left-hand layup? Because you don't even freaking try. You keep shooting right-hand layups and right-hand layups and right-hand layups. Guys, let me say all this. If it is for everybody, you guys can come in here on YouTube. You guys can go to different platforms and complain about you not getting women, the women that you want. And you can talk about racism, how a white chick don't like you, Hispanic, whatever. Oh, I'm not. I'm just not extrovert. I just can't go up to and talk to women. Guess what? When I cut this camera off, I'm going to be getting the chicks that I want. I'm going to talk to the women that I want. I hope you guys are doing the same. Because the more negative things you tell yourself, the more excuses you tell yourself, the least likely you're going to get what you want. So go ahead and keep telling your excuses, black guys and everybody else. Uh, I, me personally, I could care about, I don't care about sympathizing toward with you. Say, man, black guys, it's okay, man. I know what you, I know what you, uh, I, I understand what you're saying. Because guess what? You still going to be suffering. I'm going to turn this. Listen, I'm going to say, all right, guys, I see you guys next week. I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to get be around the women that I want. While you're still complaining, going to different channels and saying, well, uh, it's just uh, uh, making up excuses. I'm 30. I have been going to up to women's I was 18. I know what I'm talking about. Well, guess what? You're in my comment section complaining because you can't get the women that you want. Simp as simple as that. Yo, yo, that's on you. Listen, if you're going to be doing it, let me tell y'all this something. If you're going to be doing this tonight, banging some chick, or you're going to be doing this. One of the two. So either you do this, or you're doing this. It's your decision. That's as simple as that. I could care less about you being 18 and you talking to chicks. That's on you. Congratulations. Thanks for all the knowledge. Uh, has been a life-changing experience. Is that the legendary fisherman? Isn't that a Yu-Gi-Oh card? Uh, Rail Meyer. Uh, excuses are bricks that build houses uh, on nothing. Literally. Shout to uh, uh, Deshaun. So guys, man, if you want something in life, go ahead and go for it, man. Just go ahead and get it. Stop making excuses. Stop saying, well, they ain't going to like me. Just do it. Guys, you spend... Um, more time. You excuse me, You spend more energy complaining on YouTube and in different spaces, as opposed to um, making things happen. It's easier to make things happen, as opposed to just complaining. Because complaining is not going to get you nowhere. It's just going to make you more frustrated. I'm just being honest. It's just going to be like, man. You're gonna be frustrated another day, another day, another day. While you seeing all all of the all these dudes out and about with the women that they want. Guys, let me tell y'all something, man. If you would just go outside and go out, dress presentable, get give yourself a haircut, get your shape, you'll see how many choosing signals you'll get. You'll see how many women will be looking at you. All you have to do is get up, go out. Enjoy life. You could die tomorrow. I could die tomorrow. I could die today. Who knows? Could go outside, go to the store, and somebody hit me. I'm going on, come and try it. Listen, live the life that you want. It's that simple. Thanks for all the knowledge. It has been life changing experience. Thank you, Rail. Um, how to be a report with women with their with when their word is like wet toilet paper. That's the thing, Max Riley. That's guys. More excuses. More excuses. More excuses. It's been it's just been a select few of women who whose words been like toilet paper. It's not every woman. Guys, let me tell you something. I got flaked on and, and ghosted way more than any, I guarantee you, way more than the vast majority of you in here. Flaked on, ghosted, women canceled, all the stuff silly. Guess what? I, I still I'm still out there. I'm still getting interacting with the women that I want. I'm still getting submission and cooperation to the full extent. So you guys are letting one or two chicks or five or however many chicks in the past uh, stop you from going for other chicks. You guys got to get out there. Stop complaining and start living and enjoying life. Or you can, you can just do this or you can just sit and complain. It's up to you.
Every man wants some companionship and a feminine woman around. Let's be honest. Just like every woman wants a, a masculine man who has direction and guidance, who's able to guide her, excuse me. Be that guy. That's it. You want that feminine woman who's cooperative, who's submissive, who suck you dry every, uh, every time y'all get together? Be that guy who's masculine, who's dominant, who tells her what to do. Be that guy. When you're that guy, guess what? You're good. And you don't have to be that guy for women. Just be that guy in general. You'll have an overall better uh, life. All right? Guys, give this last stream a thumbs up. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Love you guys. Uh,